Hello, my name is Arush Goyal, and I'm excited to share to you my reflection on the Moral Perfection Project inspired by Benjamin Franklin. For five days, I challenged myself to follow an abbreviated version of Franklin's process by focusing on five virtues and prioritizing one per day. Here's a picture. On Tuesday of last week, I focused on being confident and making my sure that I believed in myself and my abilities. Wednesday and Thursday were the toughest days as I made the most mistakes on them, as Wednesday was about cleanliness where I prioritized keeping my surroundings and my routines neat and organized. Thursday was also challenging because it was about productivity and staying focused, which I've struggled on for a while. Friday was focused on perseverance and making sure that I pushed through challenges both in school and after school, which I found to be a fun goal to strive for. Optimism, which was staying positive and looking at the bright side, was on Saturday, and this was the goal that I achieved more perfection on. To start off with, my biggest success was optimism. This was the only virtue where I didn't have to mark a dot. For instance, on Saturday, I had a frustrating moment when I didn't perform well in a swim meet. Instead of letting it ruin my day, I took a deep breath and said to myself that one meet doesn't define me, and I need to look at the areas where I can improve. Furthermore, I also found a lot of success in striving for perseverance. This was as during a math lesson, instead of giving up and going on the phone as soon as I got confused, I kept paying attention and asking questions when necessary, trying my absolute best to learn the lesson. What made optimism and perseverance easier to achieve was my ability to reframe situations. I practiced mindfulness and reminded myself that setbacks and challenges are all part of the journey that need to be embraced. However, in five days, I was challenged with cleanliness and productivity. For cleanliness, I realized how easily I let things slip. For example, one mistake that came on Friday was that my desk was a mess after doing my schoolwork, and I kept telling myself I'd clean it later, but later never came. And this clutter affected my ability to focus. This struggle is directly tied into my struggles of productivity. On Thursday, for example, I spent way too much time scrolling on my phone instead of working on my assignment. Distractions like that on Thursday really threw me off, leading to two mistakes on that day. During these times of struggle, I tried to overcome these challenges by setting small manageable goals like cleaning one section of my desk or using timers to focus for 30 minutes at a time. I found that these adaptations and changes prevented me from making more mistakes. In addition, another area where I struggled was confidence. On Tuesday during a class discussion, I had an opportunity to share my idea, but my thoughts were racing my head and I thought that my ideas weren't good. This led to a mistake on that day. To improve my confidence, I tried using affirmations, telling myself your ideas are valid and I put myself out there to in more uncomfortable situations to make sure that I wouldn't get more mistakes. In conclusion, the overall process of this project taught me that striving for moral perfection is less about being perfect and more about understanding yourself and your habits. I learned that while I excel in optimism and not giving up, I struggle with the consistency aspect of goals. However, I surprised myself as I pushed myself as best as I could to strive for each goal. Achieving true moral perfection seems impossible because humans are naturally imperfect and life can be unpredictable, but the pursuit itself is valuable. It is through the effort effect to improve where we grow in the better versions of ourselves.